All right, so Joanna, let's start with just few words about you, apart from the fact that your kiddos love being with us during our success stories, but they're sitting quietly and playing Euro business. <laughs> yes, they are. They are playing Tell business. Us, um, <laughs> Tell us so yes, so, so they like to come in, but I'm, I'm hoping they will They will not. If not, it's a disclaimer, small kids arriving possibly. We've done um, this before with your kids. <laughs> Yes, yes, we had that. So yeah. Um, okay, so you want a bit about me, right? Um, yes. So you've already said I'm Polish. I live in the UK. I have done so for nearly two decades. And I'm very passionate about creating multiple streams of income and adding them to my portfolio. So basically, this is what I do all day long. I find ways to create new businesses, new investments, um, and helping people while I do it by helping them create them, but also teaching them about them. Oh, I love that. What a beautiful new age industry, no? Yes, yes. I love it. <laughs> I it's love so it. I good. Think, I think kids should study this, right? I think this yes. should be this should this should eventually enter schools or even private schools because the modern way of making money is what you're doing. It's multiple streams of income. It's not yes. time for money. Beautiful. Well, Eva, funny you should say that. This is one of yeah. my projects actually, getting this into kids' education. So <laughs> Wow. Oh, I love this. So good. And, and so, yes, I think that maybe hopefully uh, schools should re uh, should introduce entrepreneurship as well as multiple streams of income, because currently it's not taught anywhere. No, as far as I know, and I think it would make a massive change uh, to humanity. So yeah, Joanna, I love that. Absolutely. It will. It will. I think it's educating kids from parents, families and schools. But it, like you say, not at the minute, which we're hoping to change. <laughs> I think the world is changing. It will eventually. Yes. Um, all right. So, Joanna, what was happening in your life when we met and what inspired you to join Thinking into Results Mentorship? So um, I'll, I'll go back a little bit before to before we met. So I used to have um, a lovely uh, on paper job um, in consulting. I used to travel across the UK and Ireland. Uh, be away from home Monday to Friday, visiting lovely cities and being a guest everywhere and making a six figure salary, which was lovely. Mm -hmm. um, but I was a little bit exhausted. And when I've decided to have kids, it was an obvious no, no, because I ended up traveling a lot and working a lot, whether it was a weekday or a weekend and not really seeing my kids a lot. So a few years ago, I've decided to step out of all of that and um, start my own businesses. So I decided to help people by coaching them um, initially and then got really excited about property. And that was really my first um, passive income stream that I created. So um, I was somewhere in between investing in property, starting very slowly and, um, and trying to have some sort of a coaching consulting business. Mm -hmm. um, and I came across you. And you were like the person who, you know, you had achieved what I wanted to achieve. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm going to I'm going to talk to this girl because, you know, if you want to be like someone, you want to learn from them. So so I uh, I got in touch with you and you invited me to a master class. And a year and a half later, here I am. <laughs> mm, what a different life, huh? <laughs> yes, very different. <laughs> oh, I love this. Very and, different. Um, what did you do in corporate world? I'm, I'm actually curious. What what was the what was your title or what was what was it that you were doing so i was a regional director i was um i was uh, working in a consultancy that helped the health sector be more productive and i was on my way to becoming a coo um oh, very very sweet. very busy stressful and it was like it's almost there you know when you wait for that next promotion but you're not quite sure that rat race <laughs> yeah well i i really admire the fact that you released that and you, you went on your own and you did what your heart wanted to be more with your kids and have more freedom love it so joanna um what are some of your biggest wins since you started working with me what's changed uh yeah share with us <laughs> okay well um i must say that from my six figure salary when i started my business i actually dropped to about between one and two k a month it was never really stable and um, because it was you know come and go i kind of yeah, tried to do a bit of patchwork with my income. <clears throat> so um, 
and and I didn't see my kids a lot even though you know I, I saw them more when I had my business but it was more stressful like I wasn't there in spirit I was there in body of them and um, but the, the changes the biggest changes from from working with you have been that um I have like the the clear mind when I spend time with my children so I take them to school I pick them up from school I go to all their events I take them everywhere and they, they go and I am really there. I'm present. So when I'm with them, I'm, I'm present. We just finished playing a, a game before. And um, and I love that. And so I get to take them uh, with me. So if I go somewhere for business, I actually end up making trips out of it and take the kids with me. And um, we travel a lot, which is the biggest passion and, and what I want to, to do. And I want to show them the world. So so we do that. Um, I've calmed down a lot so I went from this like oh I've got to have this now 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 to kind of like it's fine I know I'm great it's coming to me and you know I'm I'm building all those blocks and actually things started coming easier than when I was like oh come on where is it so less tension a lot more results um and my income has gone um to back to six figures again uh, which is lovely (laughs) without a boss so much less working so much less and and traveling the world with your kids and yes. being with your kids I mean it's huge I love that yeah yes, and, I do um, too thank you tell us a lot of like like a lot of uh, participants are interested in multiple streams of income can you share with us some of the examples of what kind of streams you have developed what like what could be done uh, I mean yeah. there's many things that can be done but uh, share with us some of the things that you you're doing of course. Um, so property is what I what I started telling you about. So I have a couple of businesses in property, one's in Poland, one's in the UK. Um, I have a book out. Mm-hmm. I have some affiliate uh, marketing, some affiliate links. I've got some online courses. Um, I invest in many different things, in bank trades, in jewelry, in um, the newest one is actually in um, stocks and shares. And I'm starting mm-hmm. to invest in crypto. There's a few others probably, but I'm kind of setting up different things. And um, and yeah, there are so many things possible. I've got a drop shipping business actually, which uh, which supplies windows and doors. Um, but you know what? The, the more I do and discover, the more options there are available. So it's like a little matrix. You know, you start yeah. with one, then there's three, then there's nine, then there's more. And yeah, really and, cool. um, and also uh, I think you forgot to mention that you're teaching as well, right? I am, yes. Yes, you, that's another thing. You are thing teaching others how to do the multiple yes. streams of income as well. So I lost the count. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did too, to be fair, because every time every time I talk to you about it, I'm like, oh, there's that one and there's that one. Mm-hmm. So um, mm-hmm. do you know what? That's this other thing I've learned as well. To stop going, this is how much it's going to create. This is how much it's, it just comes. And then it's there, which is, yes. you know, which is more yes. important than thinking yes. how much is that going to make me. It's yes. living in the moment. And I think that's quite important as well. And uh, and so I'm sure there is people who are curious now, like, how do you do all of this with part time working hours? Because usually when we hear so many businesses, we're like, oh, my God, she's probably exhausted every day and she's not sleeping and she's like working 24 seven yeah how do you how do you can you share just like how does this work that that you can do that <clears throat> travel the yeah. world and have part-time working hours how does that work so I I set these businesses up as passive to start with yeah. so if I feel there's an opportunity in something um it first has to help someone and serve someone if it does then I will find other people who I might help by either creating a job or putting people together Mm -hmm. Um, And then these become businesses, which I don't personally do as much in day to day. So I work on the business as opposed to Mm -hmm. in the business, if that Mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, But I think a lot comes from, you know, it it is skills. It is talking to people. It is some of the stuff that I've learned along the way. Um, But I think it also comes with the mindset that um, you can, you know, you can help people. And mm-hmm. you can help yourself because often people think if they uh, if they end up making money on something, that's like ripping people off. And it's that there's a lot of money consciousness that I think has to change in in, in people to do that. Um, but but mindset, ha- mindset has been big because I could see the difference between my businesses before yes. studying TIR and doing doing the work and actually then how I think about things is very different, yeah. how I, you know, think and feel and how I process what happens mm-hmm. uh, for me rather than to me, if that makes sense. 
Yeah, beautiful. And um, can you share with us some of the, I think you've done a lot of good things with the money that you're earning for yourself and your loved ones, your family. Can you share some of the cool things that you've done? I mean, I know how much it means to you to show your kiddos the world. Uh, share with us some of the <laughs> things that you've done for them. So um, I think this year we've, uh, in May, I actually took the kids out on a little business trip to Barcelona and then we ended up traveling our way back to the UK on various modes of transport, visiting friends and seeing places. So we ended up seeing quite a big chunk of different European countries. Um, it, my twins are, um, two, two boys, well, I have twins. Mm -hmm. So they, um, they, their birthday was in June and I took them to Disneyland for the birthday, which was really nice. And I enjoyed that too. I've got my uh, ears, yeah. <laughs> my Mickey Mouse ears too. Um, so I took them. It was, it was amazing. You know, we sat, we sat there as it, as it closed the day before their birthday, it was like two to midnight and, and um, you know, everyone was leaving because it was the, mm -hmm. the end. So we crossed the gate. We were waiting to get back to our hotel. And, I, and, you know, I looked at my watch and I said, boys it's your birthday happy birthday and it was just so wonderful to be able to be like we're spending this whole weekend for them in a, in a different place um what else did we do well the the, in the summer holiday was was time spent away so my husband's from Albania um so we spent a couple of weeks in Albania um traveling visiting family spending time in lovely luxurious hotels and um, then we went to Poland for four weeks to spend time with the family and kind of do what we fancied. So it's like it's, a no, nomad yeah. life. Yes, yes. It's like yeah, a different I love it, country you know. every month. <laughs> yeah. And I love spending their time off how we want. So this uh, this um, uh, half term that that's just passed last month, we've actually decided to stay at home and enjoy time with our friends, which for mm -hmm. us was a very big difference because we yeah. haven't stayed put for about a year so yes. you know making that decision to be like actually this year we're staying you know as opposed to oh we're forced to stay or you know someone has to do something we were like no but still the phone went off kind of you, you don't do anything other than spend time with the with the kids and okay. and it's good because you know you I have that freedom of saying actually now I want time for myself as opposed to a lot of parents will have this thing of I haven't got time for myself because work has to come because I have to earn money, then the kids and then myself, like they put themselves yeah. last, whereas I have it completely the opposite now. And, and it's lovely. <laughs> oh, such a beautiful lifestyle. Uh, so Joanna, you mentioned something very important. You know, you, um, we were sharing a little bit about financial thermostat, you know, the, like everybody, most people have a habit of how much they earn and they hit that ceiling and also the method of earning. And so what's interesting from what you shared, when you you were already, your mind was already producing six figures when you were working at a senior position in company and overworked. And then when you went into business and property investments, you're like literally went down to mm -hmm. uh, one, 2000 per month. And it's such a common thing to watch, you know, when people start their businesses, suddenly it's like, yeah. it's not going up, it's going down. Yeah. Can you share a little bit about why is it important to for new entrepreneurs to invest in something like thinking into results? So I think because we work on programs, right? We've been programmed, first of all, that, that's, that's cool, right? That's what's cool. Yeah. We've been programmed to follow a path and be an employee, you know, be a good boy, be a good girl, yeah. kind of do yeah. it. And um, then when we start on our own, it's like, oh, what do I do? Am I even, do I even matter? Am I worth anything? And I think when, when we enter something new to us, it's so, so important to set up the basis from scratch. So it doesn't matter who's going to do your website, you know, how you're going to sell and, and all of that. It, what matters is to set your mind to success, because yeah. by being successful for yourself, you're successful for others, you're helping. And there is a huge difference between working for someone and making loads of money. And I met people who have done TIR who prior to in, being in TIR have made more than I did. And, but they were employees and yeah. then they were going from that to making the same or even less, but making it in, in a different style and a different way. So it's, it's huge because you're the same person, but suddenly you're from this employed person to actually the world is my oyster, but I'm scared. Yeah. And and I think what's also important is to have support, right? Because I know myself when I was going from employee to entrepreneur, yeah, 
I think one of the biggest uh, elements of my success was always have someone to reach out to yes. uh, in terms of other entrepreneurs that can advise me, that can give me a helping hand, give me contacts. Mm-hmm. And and I think a lot of entrepreneurs don't have it. So apparently, yeah. statistically, statistically, apparently over 50% of startups fail within the first five years. And I don't think it's because people lack passion or skill. It's just simply the mindset has not caught up with mm. the business right so it's like uh we have people programmed for exchanging time for money doing something that is not like that (laughs) and yeah yeah this doesn't know absolutely absolutely i mean there's a great book by robert kiyosaki that actually talks about employed self-employed business owners and uh, and investors and it shows that people go from uh, employed to self-employed but they're actually like worse off because they end up being the worst boss not having a holiday not paying themselves most of the yeah. time and yeah. always thinking about work and yeah. and you know when you're scared when you're scared as a child who do you want your parents when you're scared as an adult especially when you venture to something new you want help yeah. but you're not going to ask your mom dad the neighbor down the road yeah. or your friend because they're not in the same position so you want to surround yourself with people who have done it who mm-hmm. are like, I know I've been there, that's fine, I'll help you, don't worry, I'll, you know, come on. <laughs> um, but also people who are um, striving for the same, because if you're in a group like that, people's um, like minds just create that one energy that's at the same level, and mm-hmm. that's going to propel them further. So, you know, masterminds and groups mm-hmm. of support are so, so powerful. People sometimes don't appreciate them, but actually it's not just chatting, it's coming up with ideas. So absolutely, you know, when you um, when you invited me to the masterclass and then I talked to the success advisors and found out that, you know, I would be put in with an accountability partner. So it's like you can't hide anywhere. There's a person yeah. with you. So it's really good because it kind of lets you move away from excuses, from everything. You've got groups, you've got masterminds, you know, there's people that can help you. So from one on one to group support to lessons, to accountability, I think that, you know, that was quite quite a big thing yeah. for me to kind of go, I'm not the only weirdo, there's other people who want to do better for themselves in life. Yeah, let's, you know, let's yeah. all No, this is, this is humongous. And uh, what's the value for a new entrepreneur who wants to earn six or seven figures in their business? What's the value of having a ma- mentor, both mindset and strategic Huge. mentor? Huge huge so there's a saying that you become a part um, an average of the five people you surround yourself with in the area so if you want a great relationship surround yourself with five people who have great relationships if you want great business success do the same with with five people in that area and so on and so what is better than to be mentored by someone who has what you want or who Mm -hmm. has even more that you want because you know, if they have this and you want that, but you're there, well, they're still going to help you to get there and possibly more and discover that you might want more. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, I, I think it's huge. Coaches, mentors. I think for me, when I changed my job from consulting to wanting to help people as a coach, that was the missing link I've noticed wasn't given to people. You know, a lot of people would love to um, consult with you on stuff, but no one's going to be like, come on, I'm going to take you there. I'm going to show you the yes, world. Yes. And, and coaching and mentoring is that, you know, helping you get stuff out of your mind, but also mentoring by saying, look, I've been through it. It's not that scary. I know it seems like that, but I'll, let me show you a way. Oh, I love this. Yeah, for me, it's like a, you feel uh, guided, you know, like because who's going to guide a leader, a leader needs to have support structure as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know myself, you know, I do run a multi seven figure business, and I coach a lot of people, but I also need a coach, right? So it's like, it's nearly who do you go to when you're stuck, or when you don't see your blind spots, well, you have a mentor for it. Um, So Joanna, I love what you've done with your life. And I love all the changes in your lifestyle. Um, and what do you think is like the biggest transformation inside of you? How, what, in terms of who you've become, uh, what do you think is the biggest change since Joanna corporate and Joanna making six figures in investments and having work-life balance? The utter faith and belief that it's all on the right track, that I don't have to stress and worry. I have gone from here 
Mm -hmm. to hear and if like anyone who's watching it knew me five years ago they'd be like what is wrong with her she's not like that. you know it, it's kind of like and you saw that last time we were talking when my kids came in and they were running circles around me and I was like come oh. so I think Completely it's calm yeah yeah right. it's it's not you know nothing ever happens permanently like people always have states where they go back to something because the old always tries to drag you but I have the majority of my time in any area that I've grown is spent in that state so it's and if I'm not I have tools to help me get back into that state yeah. which is fantastic because you don't end up spiraling out of control with some negative thoughts would then eventually become reality if you're sitting in them yeah. you actually create something you want and then you show yourself that you're you're able to do it so then you you kind of yeah it's 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 fantastic <laughs> oh good i love it um calmness of mind is a jewel of wisdom isn't it yes um, so uh joanna that moment of making decision right so usually there is a little <laughs> bit of a psychological fight going on so yes. when you when you were about to make a decision was there any any um thoughts or maybe even something in your uh, physical environment that was trying to pull you away from that decision? And how did you still make the decision? Of course, there was. My fear was trying to stop me. So um, one of the other things I've learned uh, work from working with you is listening to whether my intuition is talking or my fear is talking. Because once you, if you feel that what you're about to invest in is going to take you further, that you feel it's going to help you, that you feel like this is for you, this is meant to be on your path right now. That's your intuition talking. When you then, you know, kind of dwell on it for a bit uh, or you talk to your family or your friend or the neighbor down the road, they're not in the same place. They don't feel the same. So, so that, that's your fear talking by actually asking, asking for advice um, to other people because you want someone to talk you out because your fear is like, I'm going to keep you safe. Yeah. So, so that was the thing with me. I... Um, I didn't have the money mm -hmm. because when you start to learn to invest, or even if you don't, you kind of, you know, you usually don't have spare cash just lying around being like, just in case. Somewhere in, inside in, the investments. Yeah, exactly. And the biggest thing is you usually come across things that are meant to be on your way to help you by accident. You, you know, like I'm going to do this workshop in one year's time and it's in my diary forever. No, we don't do that. It just comes. And uh, and when when it does, that's usually when you're like, oh, I haven't got any money to invest. So I didn't. I literally there was no spare cash. I could probably scrape together like 200 or something. And um, so that was that was it. I was like, well, I haven't got the money. And then I was like, OK, but if I make a decision that I want to do it, then the money is going to come. But if I keep thinking from the present circumstances how am I ever going to get out of the present circumstances I want to be somewhere else so yeah. kind of you know what would I what would I decide if I was the person who's got what I want who's that Joanna on the other side um and so so that's why I kind of thought you know what if you don't try are you going to regret it for the rest of your life mm. and but you won't know because you won't try so do you want yeah. to play with yourself and and, and wonder or not and um and I ended up attracting all the money. As soon as I made the decision, I remember talking to uh, the um, success advisor on the Friday afternoon, putting my phone down and saying, right, that's it. Just give me till the end of the, like the couple of days, I'll make sure it's there. Um, and the, the minute I left, there was a letter from, from HMRC giving me a tax refund, which I didn't expect. <laughs> then like other okay. crazy things started happening and I pulled all the money together all all the money within three days like Beautiful. how crazy is that right well that's, so, that's that's what majority of people don't know and that's why they don't hit their financial goals because they are making decisions from present circumstances rather than their goals so congratulations <laughs> joanna what a big lesson at the start Thank of you. the program all right so my final question we have a bunch of people watching us today and we have special offer until the end of this weekend and for those that feel that we can help them, and of course, things are pulling them away from it or questioning it, what would you say to them how to make the right decision? If, <laughs> um, you know what? I had to make so many of those decisions since. I'm yeah. like an expert in that. If it feels right, if your gut is telling you, do it, do it, and you will find a way. Honestly, like there's no, no other 
you know, responds to it. This is magic. If you decide to do it, everything, the universe will pull together to do it. If you are in chaos because you're like, yep, I've decided, but then I thought something else. This means that you're in conflict with intuition and fear, some, that too much is going on. Quieten down, go to sleep, wake up and ask yourself that question. The first answer that comes is the right answer. And honestly, like no, no amount of doing pros and cons and making lists and, you know, like any of that will help. You're, you know, you don't have to be analytical about it. You don't have to be like, yeah. it, that's it. And I, I knew, and I'm so glad I made that decision because if I didn't, I'd still be wondering. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you'd be wondering what if I did it. Oh yes. Um, so listen, guys. I mean, I think uh, this is just so perfect. What you shared, you demonstrated it so nicely. Um, we hope that this inspired you, and if it did, there is a link in the description of this video, and we hope to hang out with you after this video. We hope that you stay on with us. We hope that you uh, allow us to guide you, and you will invest in your own helping hands to grow your business to six and seven figures. Uh, now I'm just going to stop this recording and just say a couple of words. And thank you so much, Joanna, for being here. I'm so, so, so grateful for you. Thank you.